Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, where I share with you the wisdom of the ancient Stoics and how you can apply it to your modern life. Today, I'm going to show you 13 Stoic ways to destroy your enemy without fighting them. Sounds impossible, right? Well, not for Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher who faced many enemies in his life, both external and internal. He wrote a book called Meditations, where he recorded his personal thoughts and reflections on how to live a good and virtuous life. In this book, he also gave us some valuable advice on how to deal with our enemies, whether they are people who harm us, situations that challenge us, or emotions that disturb us. So, let's dive into these 13 stoic ways to destroy your enemy without fighting them, inspired by Marcus Aurelius. Number 1. Delve into the depths of your adversary. The first way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to understand them. Marcus Aurelius said, Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? By doing this, you will realize that your enemy is not so different from you. They have their own reasons, motivations, and struggles that make them act the way they do. You will also see that you have your own flaws and weaknesses that you need to work on. This will help you to be more compassionate and less judgmental towards your enemy and also to improve yourself. Number 2. Choose your battles wisely. The second way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to pick your battles wisely. Marcus Aurelius said, The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. By this, he meant that you should not stoop to their level and engage in petty quarrels, insults, or violence. Instead, you should focus on what matters most to you and what is in your control. You should also remember that not everything deserves your attention or reaction. Some things are trivial and insignificant and not worth your time or energy. By choosing your battles wisely, you will avoid unnecessary conflicts and preserve your peace of mind. Number 3. Speak with calm and clarity. The third way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to speak with calm and clarity. Marcus Aurelius said, If someone can prove me wrong and show me my mistake in any thought or action, I shall gladly change. I seek the truth, which never harmed anyone. The harm is to persist in one's own self-deception and ignorance. By this, he meant that you should be open to dialogue and feedback and not be defensive or arrogant. You should also speak with honesty and logic, and not with anger or emotion. By speaking with calm and clarity, you will show your enemy that you are rational and reasonable, and that you are willing to learn and grow. Number 4. Seek the shared path. The fourth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to seek the shared path. Marcus Aurelius said, We were born to work together like feet, hands, and eyes, like the two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him. These are unnatural. By this, he meant that you should look for common ground and mutual benefit with your enemy, and not for division and competition. You should also remember that you are part of a larger whole, and that your actions affect others. By seeking the shared path, you will create harmony and cooperation, and not conflict and hostility. Number 5. Appeal to their inner values. The fifth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to appeal to their inner values. Marcus Aurelius said, Don't demand or expect that events happen as you would wish them to. Accept events as they actually happen. That way, peace is possible. By this, he meant that you should respect your enemy's free will and choices, and not try to force or manipulate them. You should also appeal to their sense of reason and morality, and not to their fears or desires. By appealing to their inner values, you will influence your enemy positively, and not negatively. Number 6. Using humor wisely in conflict resolution. The sixth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to use humor wisely in conflict resolution. Marcus Aurelius said, How ridiculous and how strange to be surprised at anything which happens in life. 
By this, he meant that you should not take yourself or your enemy too seriously, and that you should be able to laugh at yourself and the absurdity of life. You should also use humor to diffuse tension and to lighten the mood and not to mock or offend. By using humor wisely in conflict resolution, you will make your enemy more relaxed and friendly, and not more angry and hostile. Number 7. Offer Empathy The seventh way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to offer empathy. Marcus Aurelius said, Whenever you suffer pain, keep in mind that it's nothing to be ashamed of, and that it can't degrade your guiding intelligence, nor keep it from acting rationally and for the common good. And in most cases, you should be helped by the saying of Epicurus, that pain is never unbearable or unending. So you can remember these limits and not add to them in your imagination. Remember too that many common annoyances are pain in disguise, such as sleepiness, fever, and loss of appetite. When they start to get you down, tell yourself you are giving in to pain. By this, he meant that you should acknowledge your enemy's pain and suffering, and not dismiss or minimize it. You should also show compassion and kindness, and not indifference or cruelty. By offering empathy, you will heal your enemy's wounds and not deepen them. Number 8. Embrace the art of compromise. The eighth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to embrace the art of compromise. Marcus Aurelius said, The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. By this, he meant that you should be flexible and adaptable, and not rigid and stubborn. You should also be realistic and pragmatic, and not idealistic and dogmatic. By embracing the art of compromise, you will find a middle ground and a win-win solution, and not a deadlock and a lose-lose situation. Number 9. Seek external aid without shame. The ninth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to seek external aid without shame. Marcus Aurelius said, Don't be ashamed to need help. Like a soldier storming a wall, you have a mission to accomplish. And if you've been wounded, and you need a comrade to pull you up, so what? By this, he meant that you should not be afraid or embarrassed to ask for help from others, whether they are friends, family, or professionals. You should also be grateful and appreciative, and not proud or ungrateful. By seeking external aid without shame, you will get the support and guidance you need, and not suffer alone and in silence. Number 10. Forgiveness. The tenth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to forgive them. Marcus Aurelius said, The best way of avenging yourself is not to become like the wrongdoer, by this, he meant that you should not hold on to resentment and bitterness, and not seek revenge or retaliation. You should also let go of the past and move on, and not dwell on the hurt and the harm. By forgiving your enemy, you will free yourself from the burden of hatred, and not be enslaved by it. Number 11. Growth from Ashes of Conflict The eleventh way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to grow from the ashes of conflict. Marcus Aurelius said, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. By this, he meant that you should not see your enemy as an obstacle, but as an opportunity. You should also use the challenge as a catalyst for learning and improvement, and not as an excuse for failure and stagnation. By growing from the ashes of conflict, you will turn your enemy into your teacher and not your tormentor. Number 12. Setting Boundaries The twelfth way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to set boundaries. Marcus Aurelius said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. By this, he meant that you should not let your enemy invade your personal space and violate your rights. You should also assert your needs and preferences, and not compromise your values and principles. By setting boundaries, you will protect your dignity and integrity, and not lose your identity and self-respect. Number 13. Remember, you control your reactions. The thirteenth and final way to destroy your enemy without fighting them is to remember that you control your reactions. Marcus Aurelius said, 
choose not to be harmed and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed and you have a bean. By this, he meant that you should not let your enemy affect your emotions and thoughts and not give them the power to hurt you. You should also choose how to respond to your enemy and not react impulsively or irrationally by remembering that you control your reactions. That's it for today's video, folks. I hope you enjoyed these 13 stoic ways to destroy your enemy without fighting them, inspired by Marcus Aurelius. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more stoic wisdom. Also, let me know in the comments below which of these ways resonated with you the most and how you plan to apply them in your life. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.